Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. So who has the better signature shoe? Luka Doncic or Kyrie Irving? They are on the same team now. And of course it is Jordan Brand and Anta. As far as the price goes, it is pretty similar in price as well. The Luka 3 is retailing for 130 bucks. The Kai One Speed is 125 bucks. So uh, yeah, not that big of a price difference. And if you guys do want to cop either of these shoes, I try to leave in the free link in the description box. If you do choose to get either of these shoes, it does help me out if you buy it through the free link in the description box or I try to leave a link right over here, or you can get it from the product pictures underneath this video. And also a lot of you guys have been asking me about uh, the socks that I've been wearing in all my videos. It's my brand. It's called Young Hoan and we are open for pre-order right now and it is a pre-order so it'll take a couple of weeks to get to you guys if you do order it now uh, so thank you guys so much for all the support and the patience uh, but yeah, it's more of like a uh, an athleisure sock. It, you can play basketball in it. It is like the, the main basketball sock that I am playing in right now to test all my shoes. But I wanted more of like a thinner feel, right? So if you want like a, a really thick basketball sock, which, you know, basketball socks have a little bit more thickness, a little bit more cushion to it. You're not going to find it through the first sock that's releasing. I'm uh, going to release another one that's going to be coming soon. But it's more just like a really comfortable, uh, really nice quality for the material kind of a workout athleisure sock right so i want to make a sock that looks good that you can wear casually as well as work out in and also hoop in so anyways uh enough of that well, let's get it started off with the traccione so if you're playing on a clean court both of these shoes have an incredible stop right so the luca three you have a really nice stop a uh, pretty much top here like i really like playing with this shoe on a clean court right and then for the kai one speed you have really nice uh, traction as well you do need to break it in a little bit but once you do break it in it just keeps getting better and better and the stop is really really nice on a clean court however the achilles heel for both of these shoes is dust so yeah it's okay so it's a little bit different for the dust performance right so the luca threes it picks up a lot of dust and uh, you just you have to wipe a lot and then once you wipe you have like a couple of good stops again and then after like one play you're gonna need to wipe again you know so uh, it's just not good on dust, right? The Kai One Speed, it bites through dust pretty well. It's just, uh, if you're playing on a super dirty court, it picks it up. It's a pretty easy wipe. However, if you let too much dust build up, it's a pretty dangerous slide up. You know what I mean? So I did feel a little uneasy uh, and it's pretty inconsistent as well on a dusty court. So not the best. Uh, it's just a little bit different, right? The Luka 3, you're just gonna be sliding, but not uh, like a really dangerous slide out, right? But the Kai One Speed, uh, you're gonna be sliding. But again, uh, if you do keep up with your wipes, uh, it's gonna be better uh, for, the, for the Kai One Speed on the Dusty Court because it just doesn't pick up dust as fast as Lucas. Uh, so uh, it's a little bit different there, but I would say I like the Kai One Speed a little bit better, right? Uh, if you're playing on an outdoor court, I would say, I don't know, the Luka 3, it uh, definitely feels a lot better. You know, the, the rubber is a lot harder. The grooves are thicker and deeper. Uh, here in the Kai One Speed, even though it says it's good for outdoor use, like the rubber is soft. You know what I mean? Like I can move it pretty easily just with my fingernail. Uh, however, there are a lot of grooves and the grooves are deep. So I don't think it would be terrible, but the Luka 3 seems a little bit better for durability for, on the outdoor court. So uh, yeah, just, and also another thing that I like about the, the Kai One Speed a little bit more, of course, is the kind of like outsole curvature and as like the uh, the rubber coming up here a little bit so you get better grip when you're doing these types of movements. The Luke 3 is just more flat, you know what I mean? So you, you don't get as much grip when you're doing these types of movements. So uh, yeah, because of that and because of the slightly better kind of like uh, dust performance, I would say I like the Kai One Speed a little bit more. And also for the squeak, uh, the Kai One Speed is super freaking loud and very high pitched. The Luka 3s, uh, they still have a nice little squeak, but not as loud as the Kai One Speed. Of course, that has nothing to do with performance, but if you want the squeakier shoe, the Kai One Speed is a little bit squeakier. Uh, now moving on to the heel to toe transition, they're both extremely smooth. Here in the heel, we have a nice curved shape as well as a fully exposed midsole, right? So uh, if it's very, very soft here in, in the Luka 3s in the heel. Coming into the forefoot, 
nice curve shape. Same thing here in the Kai 1 Speed. The Kai 1 Speed has a lot of compression here in the heel, which feels very soft, very smooth in the heel. Coming into the forefoot, nice curve shape, right? So very smooth for the overall shape of the shoe for both of them. And also here in the Luka 3, you have a nice flexible forefoot. Not a lot of springiness to it. It's more just flexible, right? Uh, but also torsional support is really good because of uh, the plate. It's called the ISO plate, of course. And then here in the Kai 1 Speed, we have a nice bit of uh, four foot flex, you know what I mean? Like you have to put a little bit more force into it and then just kind of springs back, right? So out of your first step and also doing heel dominant strides on the court just feels a little bit uh, springier, just a tiny bit. You know what I mean? The, the Lucas are a little bit more just like, just flexible, you know? So uh, there is the heel to toe transition there. Moving on to the cushioning setup. So the cushioning setup is really nice in both of the shoes. Uh, but it all depends on what you want, right? So uh, the Kai 1 Speed has better court feel, right? So uh, it, it, it does have a higher offset. Uh, the Luka 3 is a little bit more flat for the offset, right? But also, uh, like, the court feel in the forefoot, uh, the Kai 1 Speed is really, really good. The Luka 3 is okay, right? Here in the heel, uh, the Kai 1 Speed does get a little bit higher up off the ground, but it's still a little bit lower to the ground than the Luka 3's. The Luka 3 it is a little bit higher up off the ground, right? It still has like around average quarter feel, but the Kai 1 Speed is a little bit better. Uh, but also the heel compression is really nice in both of the shoes, right? So here in the Luka 3, we have a nice bit of compression. Of course, uh, it is using a uh, cushion line. And then uh, here in the Kai 1 Speed, it is using the N2 foam or Nitro Edge. Uh, and there's a nice bit of compression here in the heel. If I were to nitpick, I would say the Luka 3s have a little bit more compression, uh, but they both feel nice for the compression here in the heel. Also, for the step and comfort, the underfoot cushion in the heel is really, really nice in both of these shoes as well, uh, which feels really nice, right? Uh, but here in the forefoot, they're both really nice. It's just, you can feel the Kai 1 speed, like the N2 foam in the forefoot. There's a little bit of compression. It's pretty soft, but it's, just, it's, it's thin though. You know what I mean? So it's soft, but thin, right? Not as much compression, but the Luka 3s, however, you can feel the cushion line. It's really, really soft. It just feels a little bit more soft and it does give a little bit more obviously because it's a little bit thicker. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, it all depends on what you like. You know what I mean? Overall impact protection, they're both really nice. The Luka 3 is going to be a little bit better, of course, but yeah, if you want a little bit more cushion, then go with the Luka 3. If you want a little bit more court feel, but still the Kai 1 Speed has really nice cushion and impact protection, then go with the Kai 1 Speed, right? For me, in my personal opinion, I would say I like the Kai 1 Speed a little bit better because it has almost just as good impact protection, but with a slightly better court feel, especially in the forefoot. So, uh, and also pretty much just as nice step in comfort, right? So uh, there is the cushioning setup there. Moving on to the upper. So the upper is pretty different, I would say, in feel because the Luka 3 is really not nice. I really like this upper, right? So uh, it's it's like this really tightly woven textile. It is it is a little bit on the thicker side of things. It's not super minimal, but it feels really comfortable and plush, really supportive, structurally sound, but it like conforms your foot really well too. Right, so it's just a really great material. Also, like the quality is pretty dang nice, right? The Kai 1 Speed, uh, I mean, for the colorways, it is a little bit different. For this color, we do have this embroidered material. And then for the other colorway I have, it's like this like mesh material, right? Um, but yeah, it is thinner uh, and also just as supportive. It conforms your foot still pretty well, especially once you break it in. But the Luka 3 just feels a little bit softer and a little bit more comfortable. You know what I mean? So it's just a different feel. You know, it's a little bit thicker for the Luka 3. It's a little bit thinner for the Kai 1 Speed, you know? Uh, here in the midfoot, uh, it's around the same stiffness, but the Luka 3s obviously are a little bit thicker. For the tongue, however, I really like both of these shoes, right? They have a lot of padding, super duper thick for the foam in both of the shoes. Uh, so that feels really nice and plush, right? And then for the Kai 1 Speed, we have a half food and construction tongue, uh, while the Luka 3s have an independent tongue, which I'm not a huge fan of, right? Also here in the angle area, they both have around the same amount of padding. However, the Kai 1 Speed just feels like, it, it feels like a different type of foam almost, like more of like a memory foam type of foam. And then in the Lucas, it feels like a, just the regular typical foam. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit softer for the Kai 1 Speed and a little bit thicker like on the sides, like on the sides where the Achilles pads are, like where your ankle bone is almost, it's a little bit thicker there, but in the back of the heel, like where your Achilles is, uh, around that part, it's just as thick. It's like around the same. But yeah, for the overall quality though, I would say I like the Lucas and just the overall feel, you know what I mean? Although it is a little bit thicker, 
Uh, the Kai-1 Speed, not as good for the quality um, and also not as comfortable, but it's still really nice once you break it in, right? But I, I would edge it to the Luka 3s in my personal opinion. So there's that. And now moving on to the fit, I went true to size for both of these shoes and they both fit me perfectly, right? So my toes go right to the edge of the shoe. Here in the toe box, it is a nice snug fit. Uh, I would say the Kai-1 Speed is just a tiny bit more snug. Uh, but it's still pretty similar and then for the width I would say they're both around normal to slightly narrow It's just a really nice perfect fit for me and it feels really comfortable for the fit Especially the Lucas because of this overall it's like thicker uh, type of like uh, textile material, right? Um, so yeah, if you want a nice snug fit go true to size for both of these shoes And now moving on to the support and lockdown You're gonna be good to go in both of these shoes, right? So for lateral containment, you're good to go I mean uh, this material is really supportive first of all, but also I guess like at the tip of the toe, we have this plastic in the midfoot, we have this ISO plate with this uh, plastic as well. And an internal TPU heel kind of with the foam coming up, acting as a sidewall. And the Kai-1 Speed, same thing. We have this like uh, thicker type of fuse material, right? Going around this like embroidered material. We also have here in the midfoot, the plastic as well as this rubber and an internal TPU heel counter. So you're not, your foot's not coming out of the footbed here in the Kai-1 Speed or in the Luca 3s. Also, both of these shoes are very laterally stable. Which shoe is wider, however? Um, they're around the same width, right? You can see like the Kai-1 Speed is around, maybe the Luca 3 is just a tiny bit wider, but uh, yeah, I, it, it, if you look right here though, right, the, the Lucas are a little bit wider at the midfoot, but you know, uh, they're both around the same width and like where your forefoot is, right? Where your pinky toe is. So they're both laterally stable and I had no issues with that. And both of these shoes have very good lockdown. So uh, yeah, supporting lockdown is really nice in both of these shoes for me. And now moving on to the weight of the shoe. Um, yeah, the Kai-1 Speed's probably gonna be lighter, right? So Kai-1 Speed is like 11.85 ounces, which is uh, a little bit lighter than average. The Luka 3s, are 12.5 ounces, which is literally average weight. So yeah, uh, it's just the Luka 3s are a little bit higher up off the ground and the, the material like the upper here in the midfoot as well as here in the toe box feels a little bit thicker, you know what I mean? But just like still really comfortable, however, and really cozy. The Kai-1 Speed feels a little bit more minimal for the upper, especially here in the toe box. And also you are a little bit lower to the ground. Uh, but like if, when you're playing in both of these shoes, you can feel really quick, especially if you're playing on a clean court. However, I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit more responsive in the Kai-1 Speed due to you know the, the better court feel and also due to the uh, thinner material of course uh so there's that moving on to the aesthetics um the luka 3 uh, it grew on me and still looks pretty good the kai one speed looks pretty dang good as well just not a huge fan of the embroidered upper right i like a more simple design but there are different colorways so for the overall design i would, i don't know i feel like i like both tell us what you guys think looks better down in the comment section below so Wrapping things up, yeah, so, um, yeah, they're both nice performers. It's just, for me, the Luka 3s are just really, really bad on dust. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's a slightly dusty, it's not that good, right? In a slightly dusty setting for the Kai-1 Speed, it's just way better. Moderate dust also is a little bit better. The Luka 3s just slide around like crazy, right? On a crazy dusty court, the Kai-1 Speed is where it kind of, like, gets a little bit inconsistent and slides out dangerously. But again, if you keep over your wipes, it's just better than the Luka 3. So that's why I like the Kai-1 Speed better. It feels more minimal and also a little bit more responsive because you are lower to the ground with still almost just as good cushion. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm gonna have to give the Kai-1 Speed uh, the edge. You know, I think it's a little bit better for performance. But if you are the type of person who wants like a thicker, more cozier uh, type of upper and material, this is still really, really nice. And uh, maybe if you can, I, I haven't really checked, but if there is a colorway with a solid rubber outsole, maybe that'll be better for performance on a dusty court. Uh, again, I haven't tried it, so take that with a grain of salt. But if it is, then I, I would say this is still a really nice shoe to get. Uh, especially like, I feel like it's a really nice shoe for Luca, you know? And obviously he's in the NBA, he's probably playing on a really clean court. You have really nice cushion, although the court feel isn't the best. And support is really good in the shoe, while the upper and the overall shoe is really comfortable and cozy, you know? Uh, but yeah, in my personal opinion, the Kai-1 Speed is just a, bit, a little bit better. So that about wraps up this versus video between the Luka 3 and the Kai-1 Speed. Again, if you guys do want to cop either of these shoes, I try to leave in the feed link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.